Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 12 of WCF. In this video, we will discuss about how to work with uh, stored procedures in WCF. So, here initially, I have one database with name MyDB. Having one table called EMP table is there. And having some records are available. So, initially, I want to create one stored procedure to insert the record in the table. So, how to create a procedure? Create procedure. Procedure name PROC underscore create employee. And here I will try to pass the parameters at the rate e number. Data type is int, comma at the rate e name. Data type is where care. Where care of 30, comma at the rate salary. Data type is money. And here I will write as begin and block. And here I want to insert the record. I will write the insert query. Insert into table name EMP values of at the rate e number comma at the rate e name comma at the rate salary so press f5 so i create one stored procedure the name of the procedure is proc underscore create emp now here i will try to open my visual studio editor i want to create the service so i will go to the new project select uh, uh, visual c sharp wcf wcf service application click on ok want to create the service. So here I will go to the solution explorer. There you can see iService1.cs interface and there you can find what uh, some methods are there. I will try to delete these methods and similarly I will try to declare some data contract and I will try to what delete this one and I will go to service1.svc.cs here also I will try to what delete this code. Is it clear? So first of all within the interface I will I will declare the interface with service contract attribute and here I will declare what operation contract and here I will try to declare one method something like int the name of the method I will give as create employee create employee and here I will try to declare one more operation contract and the name of the method I will give as int delete employee delete employee and for this uh, uh, method I will try to uh, declare one data contract class so here I will try to declare one class and I want to expose this class outside the world. So I will decorate this class with data contract attribute. And the properties within this class I will declare some properties. Public in D number and here I will declare public string E name. And here I will declare public double salary. I will declare some properties and I will decorate these properties with data member attribute. I will declare the properties with data member attribute. And for this method, I will try to pass the uh, employee OBJ as parameter. And here also I will try to pass what? Employee OBJ. Now here I want to implement this interface in the derived class. So here you see, we already know that how to implement the interface methods in the derived class. So here I will try to declare what? Public int create employee bracket open bracket close. And similarly here also you can see and uh, public int delete employee public int delete employee bracket open bracket close so here i want to declare the connection string globally so go to web.config file and after system dot what web here i want to declare the connection strings connection strings and here i will write add name is equals to con str and uh, here i want to give connection string user id is equals to user id is equals to sa password is equals to abc database is equals to em my database name is mydb so i'll give database is equals to mydb and here i'll give data space what source data space source is equals to server name kanna so here i will try to declare the namespace using system dot data and here i'll try to declare using system dot data dot sql client and here i'll try to declare using system dot configuration so i want to create the connection to the database sql connection con is equals to new sql connection of here i'll mention configuration manager dot connection strings of con str dot to string method i want to create the connection and then i want to open the connection con dot what open off and then i want to uh, pass the procedure SQL command cmd is equals to new SQL command of pass the procedure comma con here we need to mention the procedure name so what is my procedure name name proc underscore create employee pass the procedure comma con 
Next one, mention that we are working with stored processor. So there is one property called command type. CMD dot command type is equals to command type dot what stored procedure. Mention that we are working with what stored procedure. And then what we have to do here we need to what pass the parameters. So CMD dot parameters dot add with value of we need to pass the parameter at the rate e number parameter name comma obj dot e number and here cmd dot parameters dot add with value of at the rate e name comma obj dot e name similarly cmd dot parameters dot add with value of at the rate salary at the rate salary comma obj dot salary first create the connection open the connection uh, pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure set the values for the parameters and execute the procedure cm dot execute non query and the return type is what int i and here i want to return i these are the steps how you have to work with what stored procedure similarly here i want to write the code for delete employee first of all create the connection open the connection first of all you create a procedure to delete the record so how to create a procedure create procedure proc create procedure proc underscore delete employee delete emp i want to delete the employee based on employee number at the rate e number int and here write what as begin end and here write the delete query delete from emp where e number is equals to at the rate e number press f5 so this is my procedure name proc underscore delete employee so here i want to mention the procedure name so first create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with what stored procedure and pass the parameters at the rate e number comma obj dot e number and execute the procedure build rebuild the solution and here i will try to go to my solution explorer and here you can see what uh, service one dot svc right click view in browser now here you can see I'm trying to executing the service and copy the service URL. And as we already discussed in previously how to read the WSGL file. Generally here automatically the WSGL file is what generated and we need, as a developer we must know how to read the WSGL file. Web service description language. So this is my service URL and I want to consume the service. So how to consume the service here I will try to open my Visual Studio editor. And here I'll try to go to the new project. Select Visual C Sharp Web ASP.NET MT Web Application. Click on OK. And I will try to go to the Solution Explorer. And here you can see the project. Right click on the project. Add Add New Item. And there you can see Select Web Form. Click on Add Button. And here you can I'll try to go to the Design. And here I'll try to go to my Table. And here I'll try to write Insert Table. Number of Rows to Columns to Press Tab. And here I will try to what? Uh, go to the toolbox. I will try to design. Here you say I will try to drag and drop what? One text box control. Try to drag and drop the text box control. And here one more text box. And here one more text box. And here I will try to drag and drop what? One button control. I will try to drag and drop one button control. Is it clear? And uh, here you say. And I will try to drag and drop one label control. I will try to drag and drop one label control. So here I want to enter what? Employee number. And here I want to enter what? Employee name. And here I want to enter what? Salary. And this is a button. The text for the button I will give as what? Insert. Now I want to insert the record. This is my table actually. Are you following? So this is my table. Select. And here I will give what? Bold. And here I will give X large. Are you following? So I want to insert the record. So right click on the solution. Add service reference. And here I will try to paste the service URL. Click on go button. We are trying to consuming the service. Click on OK. So here you see. Now I want to consume the service here. Double click on insert button. So here I want to use the uh, reference here using web application 4 dot service reference 1. So I'll try to create an object web application 4 dot service reference 1 dot service 1 client obj is equals to new service 1 client of and here I'll mention what I will try to create an object for my employee class employee even is equals to new employee of 
So I want to set the values. E1 dot what? E number is equals to int dot parse of. Here I will try to mention what text box one dot text. And similarly, here I will try to set the e name. E, e, e1 dot e name is equals to text box two dot what? Text e1 dot what? Salary is equals to double dot parse of. Text box three dot text. Are you following? Now I will try to what? Call the method obj dot create employee create employee of pass the object e1 and the return type of this method is what int i is equals to and here I will write something like this if i double equal to what one I want to display the output label one dot what text is equals to record is inserted record is inserted is it clear else here I will write label one dot what text is equals to failed. I'll write something like failed insertion failed. This is how we can insert the record. Here I want to insert the record three by eight, and here I'll give the name Kiran, and here I'll give the salary twenty three thousand. Click on what insert. Now here you see, try to create an object for e number, e name as well as salary, calling the method create employee and pass the object as parameter. Here you see. Create the connection, open the connection, pass the procedure, mention that we are working with stored procedure and record is inserted successfully. Here you see, tribulate. Go and check in the database. Here you can see this is my EMP table. Execute. Tribulate record is inserted successfully. Now similarly, if I want to delete the record, you can delete. Here I will try to um, go to my project, add new item. Go to project, add new item. Select web form. Select web form. Click on add button. Here you can do the design. So here yeah, this is my design. I'll try to go to the delete button. Double click on delete button. Write the code. Here I'll try to declare using web application four. Here you see web application four dot service reference one. Here I'll try to create an object web application four dot service reference one dot service one client obj is equals to new service one client of. And here I'll create an object for employee e1 is equals to what new employee of. And here I want to set the value e1 dot e number is equals to int dot what parse of text box one dot text. Here I'll mention as text box one dot text and the return type of this. And I will try to call the method. How to call obj dot what is the method name delete employee of what e1 and the return type is what int i is equals to. And here I will try to write what if i Double equal to what one? I want to display the output in where label label one dot text is equals to record is deleted record is deleted and here you write what else label one dot text is equals to failed. This is how you can work with what stored processes. I'm trying to insert the record as well as delete the record. Here I'll try to give triple eight. Click on delete button. So here you see. I will try to record is deleted. Go to the database and check whether it is deleted or not. Similarly, if you want, you can check here. I will try to keep the breakpoint and I will show you the flow of execution. And here I will give what uh, one not two one not two. Click on delete. See here. First of all, uh, creating an object for service client and now set the values calling the method. Now first create the connection, open the connection, pass the procedure. Mention that we are working with stored procedure, and execute the procedure and return the result to the uh, front end. If the record is deleted successfully, execute non-query will return what one. Execute non-query method will return the number of queries that are executed what successfully. So here it will display the message saying that record is deleted. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.